Welcome to another episode of Mujer de Éxito Unbounded. This is a podcast for the mujerpreneur where we get raw and real about going from surviving to thriving in our life and our negocios. Bienvenidas. Yo soy Marti Ángel, Latina Biz Coach, also known as the Empowering Latina Coach. Y yo soy su anfitriona para este show. I am your host for this show. Let me just remind you, though, that there are no coincidences in this world. There's no other reason other than you are meant to hear the message today. That's why you are here today. So I invite you to sit back, open your mind, open your heart to allow yourself to be empowered, motivated, and moved into action as you listen today. Quiero recordarles que no hay coincidencias en este mundo. Este mensaje que vas a escuchar hoy es porque lo debes de escuchar. Este es mensaje para ti. Again, I am Marty Angel, and I just want to remind you que a veces hablamos español, sometimes we speak Spanglish, and sometimes we speak English. But as a Latina biz coach, it is my passion to work with the underserved, underprivileged, and underrepresented but it is my purpose, mujeres, to help you, the Latina, bilingual and BIPOC mujerpreneur, gain clarity and focus on who you serve so you can up-level from brick and mortar to click and order and to begin to rock your six figures so that you can live your best life. I would love to be your coach, but today we have a message for you. Este podcast es para la mujer emprendedora donde nos ponemos reales acerca de lo que hemos pasado, sobrevivido y, y prosperado para salir adelante en nuestra vida y en nuestros negocios. Hoy este mensaje es para ti. So let's get to it. Hoy vamos a escuchar este mensaje. Vamos de una vez. Amigas, today's episode is all about harnessing purpose through writing goals. Now, I've been talking about this topic since the last time you heard me, but it's really important and I really want to cover goals because goals, you know, goal setting tends to trip us up. So if you're just joining us, welcome to another episode of Mujer de Éxito Unbounded, Woman of Success Without Limits, your host, Marty Angel. If you're watching me on the YouTube, make sure that you drop me uh, some love and comments and, and uh, questions that you might have. So let's talk about Harnessing Purpose Through Writing Goals, Mujerpreneur Success. Vamos a platicar del propósito. Vamos a buscar el propósito a través de escribir las metas. That, my friends, is our mujerpreneur success. It's so important that we think about this because I want you to know Quiero que sepas that writing goals does not need to be scary or hard. You can make it fun. And as a Latina entrepreneur, achieving success can seem like a daunting task. However, with the right guidance and a clear plan of action, business goals don't need to be hard for you, the mujerpreneur. No necesitan ser difíciles poner en papel el, las metas que tenemos para nuestros, para nuestras, nuestros negocios, nuestras vidas. So let me just share that through self-discipline and an optimistic look, you, amigas chulas, you, the mujerpreneur, can reach your desired objectives no matter the obstacles. But it is that optimistic outlook that's going to make that obstacle disappear. Mujeres, 
chicas chulas. Quiero que sepan que es muy importante que tengan realísticamente las expectativas cuando están haciendo sus metas para sus negocios. It is important for you to have realistic expectations when it comes to establishing business goals. What I mean by that is, let's say that your bottom dollar last year was $10,000 monthly. This year, instead of putting $100,000 monthly, even though we think, you know, set, a, set everything up to that that hairy audacious goal. Yes, but let's be realistic. Maybe we can double our income. So that's going to be really critical for you to understand as you're achieving success, because achieving your success is really an ongoing process. So some people think that it's a destination. It's not a destination. It's an ongoing process. It's just imagine you get more and more and more successful or there's a stop and then you get more and more successful from there. So success is an ongoing process that involves setting manageable steps along the way in order to achieve larger ones down the line. That, my friends, amigas, es lo que tienen que buscar. Esos pasos que, que, que son más chicos para poder manejarlos bien, para llegar a las metas más grandes. So with every step forward, you need to be prepared that there may be failures, but that should not stop you. You've got to take a look at what didn't work and say, okay, how can I learn from this? Instead of looking at what didn't work and then going down the spiral of that negative brain of ours that, that says, no lo hiciste, no llegaste, para que pusiste metas, ya sabías, no ibas a llegar. You know, that, that critical voice, that bilingual voice inside our head or, or monolingual voice inside our head that keeps telling us, I told you. You weren't going to do it. I told you not to set it up. See, I'm proving. And you allow it to continue and prove you wrong. So you've got to manage that voice. You've got to really just manage the voice. You can't conquer it, but you can manage it, right? So utilizing, you know, your, your failures by setting them up as, as, lessons helps you and those lessons then help you move closer toward your goals and aspirations because I love working. I love working with the mujerpreneur, the bilingual, the BIPOC woman. I love to help them really, truly gain clarity and focus on who they serve so they can up level from brick and mortar to click and order and begin to rock those six figures. And you know what? 2023 is the year for you. I can just feel it. Lo siento, lo siento en los huesos que 2020 va a ser un año especial para ustedes. Ustedes, mujerpreneurs, van a ser muy exitosas este año. Esa es mi predicción, ¿eh? <laughs> identifying purpose, though. Let's get to identifying your purpose. What is a purpose? So identifying your purpose comes from within. Mujerpreneurs are women entrepreneurs because everybody always asks me, let me just identify mujerpreneurs. Mujerpreneurs are women entrepreneurs who are making waves in the business world. Mujerpreneurs son mujeres emprendedoras que están haciendo olas en el mundo de negocios. From tech startups to fashion brands, these powerful, you, the powerful mujerpreneur, ustedes amigas chulas, you female business owners are the ones that I see taking your passion and turning it into reality. And if you need guidance, I'd be honored to be your coach. But so now let's talk about mujerpreneurs. How do you know what goals to set? 
That's the question that, that my coaches ask me, how do I know what goals to set? Well, you need to take, you always need to take stock of your business and you need to have some, you know, some activity, some goals, some, you know, some benchmarks that you have from last year or from last month or last week, if you're doing weekly goals and really use those to help you set goals for the next, for the next week, month, year, you know, quarter. So I say that you must identify your purpose right? This is a key component of a successful mujerpreneur. Tienes que identificar tu propósito. Because then once you set your purpose, you can set actionable and successful goals. It doesn't need to be scary, I promise. But first things first, Mujerpreneurs, you need to get, you need to get comfortable with brainstorming goals. And, and if it's only you, it's still brainstorming. You know, you can brainstorm with friends, you can brainstorm with colleagues, you can brainstorm with collaborators, or you can brainstorm with yourself. But brainstorming is a critical step in the success of any business, but especially for you the mujerpreneur. It's even more important to take time to reflect and plan for the future, right? Setting realistic and meaningful goals can help you stay motivated. That's why you set goals to help you stay motivated when you get the, I don't feel like it days. Cuando llegan esos días que dices tú, ay, que flojes, que flojera, ay, no tengo, no estoy motivada. Esos días van a llegar, pero para eso ponemos las metas para que nos ayuden a mantenernos motivadas cuando nos llegan esos días del ay nos, right? So, you know, you stay motivated by having goals throughout difficult times to ensure that you reach your desired outcome. Now, let me talk a little bit about that desired outcome, right? So that desired outcome, amigas, is not necessarily something that your, you know, your competitor is doing something. Don't ever compare yourself with anybody else. That desired goal could be something that you're setting up for today, right? You're, you're setting up your goals for today. Van a, vas a hacer metas para hoy, or you're setting them up for the week, or you're setting them up for the month. And like I said before, you're setting up quarterly, but you have to do the analytics. You must do the analytics. How do you know if you reach your goal? And, and you know, it, if you're just starting out, it's easy, but sometimes we need to really get in there and analyze what it is that we did, what it is that we didn't do and move forward. Goal setting helps to keep us in line. It helps to keep us all in focus. Now, once you begin to set the goal, what I want you to know and what I want you to really, you know, know is the fact that setting goals is, is something that needs to be very easy, right? So setting goals is something that needs to be extremely easy. And what happens is, is that, you know, that goal setting, starting that goal setting process is important because like I said before, it's important for you to be able to evaluate where you currently are in your business. Es importante de tener metas para que puedas evaluar dónde estás en tu negocio, en, en, en el camino que vas si llegaste o vas a medio, a medio camino, tienes que saber eso. So I want you to ask yourself. This is a self-coaching question. Ask yourself, what kind of process do I want to make over a certain period of time? 
When you begin to ask yourself that, this allows you to be able to craft specific goals that will create measurable results so you can hold yourself accountable for achieving them. And additionally, setting time frames for each goal helps keep motivations high, helps keep your levels high, and it provides an incentive for you to implement those goals. Pero amigas, as I stated in the uh, previous episode, talking about goals, the things about, you know, what's wrong with uh, setting smart goals. I want you to be careful not to get stuck there. It's easy to become paralyzed when you think about setting deadlines. We, our brains do not like the word deadlines. And so here's my advice to you is to set the goal. And then instead of thinking in your head, how do I break it down? Because everybody's going to ask you, okay, now break down the goal. But the word break, amigas, the, as an educator and as a brain-based educator, I can tell you that the, the word break, break shuts the brain down. So when you think of breaking it down, what happens is it opens up that amygdala, the negativity part of you, the part of the brain, and it begins, and it begins to overact and overwork. And then you begin to say questions like, um, okay, so because the brain starts to freak out. Okay. So, um, um, how far should I break it down? And, um, what does break it down really mean? And should I break it down? Like in, in big chunks? or what are chunks? What, how do I break it down? And you go down the abyss of nothingness. I call it the abyss of nothingness because that's what happens. You go down this negative path and you come into this darkness. And what happens is you just let yourself stop. And that my friends is how we do not achieve our goals. Where in contrast, instead of thinking, break it down, you want to think, task it down. Why? Because if I were to share energetically, I know you think I'm weird, but if I were to share uh, energetically, if you put your hand on your heart and you say, break, and you're standing up and you say, break, I guarantee you that you're going to feel like something's pushing you back. But if you stand there and say the word task, it moves you forward or it keeps you steady. Why? Because task, the word task doesn't make our brain go haywire because we task everything down from recipes all the way to what you're going to, what you're going to wear at the wedding that's coming up. We have tasks. Like we love tasks. We, our brain loves tasks. Example, if you have a wedding coming up, you say to yourself, okay, so what am I going to wear at the wedding? That's a goal, right? I'm going to wear that white pantsuit. Oh, but I need a pair of shoes. Okay. What shoes would go with that white pantsuit? And then you begin to think, okay, so I need white shoes, maybe white pumps or maybe white, um, you know, sandals or whatever it is that you're thinking. And then you begin to write a list of where are you going to go? If they don't have them at Macy's, or do, are you going to go to DSW? And you, and you begin to do these tasks. You begin to task it down all the way to the point where you, you say to yourself, Oh, so today I'm going to the store. So maybe on the way back from the store, I can stop at Macy's. And if they have the shoes, then great. I don't have to do anymore. I've achieved my goal. Well, that's the same thing, tasking it down. Same thing we do in a recipe. And so your brain is very comfortable with the word task and you know exactly how to task it down. So task it down, have that goal, write it down and then task it down. Then just like you would, you know, like I said, and prioritize a recipe, write down the steps, tasking it down. And then you create your your masterpiece, your pe- your pièce de résistance, right? You prioritize your goals 
and you remember to set time frames. Otra palabra, time frames. The difference between the word time frames and the word deadlines. Again, this is an energetic thing. Yes, I, you know, I, I've always been intuitive. People always ask me, you know, uh, how are you the empowering Latina coach? Well, it's because I use all of my gifts, my Reiki, my intuitions, my, you know, my tapping, my NLP, and I just, I feel my way through a lot of things. So, as an educator, as a, you know, former formal educator, I can tell you that the brain also freaks out when you use the word deadlines. So again, set timelines, not deadlines. And I can, I can share with you as a principal, when I would meet with my teachers, if I ever said, you know, let's put some deadlines to meeting this, to, you know, to helping the kids meet these goals. They would like freak out. But if I said, okay, let's put some timelines together as to how we're going to help the kids achieve this goal, man, those teachers got to work without a problem. And that's when I began to really get into what words really freeze up in our brain or freeze our brain up. So don't think deadlines, think time frames, right? Think time frames. So once again, dead stops the brain from thinking. So, en vez de pensar la palabra deadlines, quiero que usen la palabra time frames. ¿Por qué? Porque la palabra deadlines nos enfoca, nos enfoca en parar todo. Todo para, todo se acaba. ¿Por qué? Porque deadlines es muerte. ¿Verdad? Línea muerte, como dice, si, si, si lo usara en español, es línea muerta, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, no piensen deadlines, piensen time frames, ¿verdad? Eh, en pocas palabras, time frames nos ayuda a salir adelante, nos ayuda a, a conformar el, el cerebro a ser a, a tomar pasos, tomar acciones para llegar a nuestras metas. So again, I'm, I'm going to repeat it again. The words that I told you today, remember, do not use break, use task. Do not use deadlines, use time frames. So finally, I want to help you because I really want you to hit that six-figure income. I want you to hit that, that you know, that big hairy, audacious goal that you have for yourself. But finally, goal setting is a powerful tool for ustedes, las mujeres emprendedoras, mujerpreneurs, Latina entrepreneurs, bilingual, BIPOC women who are entrepreneurs to have inside your arsenal of tools. So you want to write down your goals because you're writing them down, provides that clarity and focus and allows you to work toward a specific purpose with intention, right? With intention, you have to, you really have to be in, in, you know, intentional by when you work your purpose. So by tasking down these large goals into small actionable tasks and items, you, amigas chulas, hermosas, mujerpreneurs, you can better organize your day by following and strategizing your path to success. It is essential. It is essential. Es esencial. For all mujerpreneurs, for all of you Latina entrepreneurs to recognize the importance of goal setting and writing down your intentions so that you ensure your business endeavors are successful. Now, goals are different than intentions, right? It's my intention to achieve that goal. It's my intention that this phone call be a positive, have a positive outcome right? That's an intention. I'm intending for that to, to move forward. And it puts me in a space of positivity. So 
Amigas, this is by writing down your goals, you can harness your purpose and become the successful mujerpreneur that I know that you can be. Today's talk was very simple, short, sweet, and to the point. Sometimes that's the way they are. And I hope if you found value in this chat today, in this podcast, in this episode, please, and you're, you know, share it, share it out, share out the link to this, you know, to the video. If somebody wants to hear the video, this podcast will drop two weeks from now because I'm always on the video cast here on YouTube about two weeks before it actually drops on the audio. And you can listen to the podcast anywhere you listen to your favorite podcasts. Honestly, I am so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you. Gracias por estar aquí. Gracias por En realidad yo a veces digo que estoy bien llena de bendiciones por tener a todas ustedes que están aquí conmigo escuchando y ojalá hayan encontrado el valor en las palabras que les he compartido hoy. Y si encontraron valor, por favor, ayúdenme y y manden este link La liga, mándenle la liga a alguien que ustedes creen que puede beneficiarse de escuchar mis palabras. As always, this is Marty Angel, your host for Mujer de Éxito Unbounded, signing off, saying gracias por todo. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful evening, wherever you are. Gracias. Namaste. This episode brought to you by Celevive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask. The Celevive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask locks in intense moisture to perfectly prime your skin for restful sleep. Apply this relaxing hydration serum several times a week to pamper yourself and radiate your healthier looking complexion. Sheet masking is all the rage right now. Make it a regular part of your healthy skincare regimen today. Celevive Hydrating and Lifting Sheet Mask. Click the link below and get yours today.